Hey guys, uh, this is Normal here for Technic, and today we'll have a review of uh, Microsoft Office uh, for iPad. So, Microsoft Office was the first uh, rumored to come in uh, 2011, and after months and years of uh, rumors and speculations, uh, Office 20, uh, I mean Office uh, Microsoft Office for iPad is here. And you can download uh, Word, Excel and PowerPoint uh, onto your iPad and use it uh, just like uh, the normal uh, desktop app. So we'll have a quick look at the features and what are the functions or the pricing etc. So Word, Excel and PowerPoint are right now available for iPad. So you can download them uh, from the app store. So these three are separate apps. Uh, it's not a bundled suit. So they are separate apps. You need to download them uh, individually. So we have uh, now Word, uh, PowerPoint and uh, Excel installed on our iPad so it works um, on any iPad so just let's open uh, this and see how it works so you can see here uh, it's connected to Office 365 so it says one six subscription multiple devices your office subscription covers multiple computers and uh, your iPad as well so your documents will always be in sync ac and accessible virtually anywhere anytime then uh, you can uh, changes are saved automatically then uh, work together and co-author so you can uh, multiple people can uh, work uh, on the same document and uh, finally the option to sign in so you can see here uh, the sign in option so sign in is required because uh, you need to have uh, the office 365 account uh, for um, I mean getting all the features so there's a this is a premium model that means the app is free but uh, you can only read documents uh, on uh, I mean documents presentations and uh, uh, power charts on uh, this iPad if you want to edit it you need to have a subscription that's uh, office 365 subscription so you need to have uh, the subscription um, purchase so uh, for a year the subscription for home user is around $99 which covers uh, uh, desktop PCs as well as uh, iPad license so you need to get one license before you can uh, start using it or you can use it without the edit mode you can you can read documents you can view the powerpoints and also the excel sheets but you cannot uh, edit them or make changes and save uh, them so let's uh, go ahead and uh, see the features uh, right now available in um, office uh, for iPad so let's just sign in So this is the interface of uh, Word on um, um, iPad. So we have a few options. First is the sign in which we already saw in the first page. Then you have a new document. So you can start a new blank document, a brochure, a business letter, business uh, newsletter, contemporary resume. So there are quite a few options uh, here. So this is uh, very similar to what we have on the desktop version. Then you have the recent document. So right now we don't have. And then you have uh, the option to open uh, from your iPad so you can add a place from here so you can um, get uh, uh, OneDrive or connect to OneDrive and then open the document from here so you can uh, let's uh, let's just go ahead and uh, create a simple document uh, or you just uh, download a business letter so it's creating a business letter so let's see how this works so we can see here um, uh, this is the let's uh, just zoom in and uh, I'll show you the details so here you go on the top you have these five tabs the home tab the insert tab the layout uh, the review and the view so these are very similar to what we find on uh, the desktop version the uh, I mean uh, the ribbon interface so in the home you have the formatting options so you can see here when if you are using a uh, word without a license so you can see it's read only mode so create and edit activate uh, uh, you need uh, an eligible uh, office 365 subscription so that's uh, the options here now you can see the insert option has uh, quite a few options like a uh, page breaks pictures shapes text boxes hyperlinks etc then the layout you can set margins uh, directions column header footer page number etc and uh, finally the review you can see track changes so you can uh, uh, display for review you can uh, set uh, orders you can block orders etc and uh, finally in the view uh, you have the spelling as well as rulers and also the word count so these are the options available um, in the tab and the uh, ribbon interface so the interface looks really good it's um, it's optimized for touch and you can see here it's pretty easy to use and the top you have this ribbon interface and uh, you have a uh, few options here you can uh, auto save um, uh, the document you can uh, name it duplicate restore and you have the properties 
uh, so these uh, options are available uh, uh, because we are these options are disabled because we are not uh, having the full version so in unless it's activated you can't use these features i mean uh, you have you can view the properties uh, and other details uh, from here so these are the options available here you also have a search option here so you can uh, you can do the search of uh, uh, documents uh, i mean the search of file words uh, uh, find and replace match cases hold words so this, this is the inbuilt document search uh, which what you find on uh, uh, the word desktop version as well so this um, uh, searching inside a document you can find and replace words so that's the option here then you have uh, this uh, profile you can i mean the share option uh, the email link as well as the uh, copy link of this uh, uh, document and they can share it so these are the options available uh, in um, microsoft uh, uh, word so you can uh, start creating documents uh, if you have uh, the office 365 subscription and you can um, go ahead and view documents uh, if you if you don't want a subscription you can still view the documents uh, which are created elsewhere and you can uh, sync uh, using the onedrive uh, app so that's uh, how um, in the ex i mean the word for uh, ipad works now let's go ahead and see the excel uh, option so we also have the office excel uh, installed so you get the same options here so let's sign in later so again uh, the interface is very similar the colors are even maintained from the desktop version you have the green color for excel blue color for word and the uh, red or the orange color for um, the powerpoint so these colors have been maintained uh, um, in the same as the same in um, desktop version so it's it's more or less very similar to what we have uh, on um, so you can just download a uh, report and see how it uh, looks so you can see here this is the excel um, excel sheet so you can at the bottom you can see the tabs uh, for multiple tabs inside the excel document so these are the different tabs you can add more tabs here so that way it uh, looks good and the, the ribbon interface uh, which looks very similar to what we have on we are seen on the word so the interface is very similar and uh, you have the options from the word so you can see here the um, chart create ability to create charts pictures shapes then you can add formulas uh, you have the same review option and uh, the other set of options so it's very similar to what we have on the desktop version although you may not get all the features of the desktop version but it's still really useful uh, for business users and uh, it's much better than uh, office for iphone which uh, which is pretty difficult to use on a small screen but uh, for a tablet you can use it much better and you have uh, this uh, touch uh, um, and, and the controls are uh, uh, for uh, optimized for touch so you don't have issues with uh, using this command so you can see it's uh, pretty easy to use as well so uh, the touch interface is uh, really good um, on uh, the excel as well so now let's uh, just go ahead and see the final one the powerpoint so powerpoint uh, is for presentation so if you have if you want to create or view presentation so you can do it from here So this is the PowerPoint uh, interface. So again, very similar. You have the different themes available. So the PowerPoint presentation theme. So you can select uh, any one of them uh, and get started with uh, um, the presentation. You have the slide uh, size. You can set uh, the uh, the slide size as widescreen 16 uh, is to 9 or standard 4 is to 3. So this can be set here. Then uh, you have the similar set of options here. So let's uh, just create uh, one. Um, uh, powerpoint so you can see i have just created one uh, one so you can see here again the the ribbon has uh, quite a few options um, the transition effects uh, slide shows um, you can start from current you can start from the beginning uh, then you have the transition effects you can insert uh, table pictures uh, shapes and text boxes and finally you have the review options and those all options are similar to what uh, we find we found on uh, the word as well as the excel so again you, if you want to create or edit uh, these documents uh, you need to have office 365 subscription 
so overall that is really good uh, implementation so again one one thing we miss for the powerpoint is that you can just share it from here you can view the presentation from here so uh, you can uh, you can okay we can just go ahead and okay we have this pen settings so we have this pen setting so we can just draw on this presentation now uh, while it's uh, it's being played so if you are doing a presentation you will just want to do ma some marking you can do from here so you can send uh, you can get the pen settings as well so you have the option to uh, view the point from here so that's an another handy option so you can just uh, if, if you want to view the powerpoint uh, you can if you want to view the presentation you can just click here and start the presentation and use the pen uh, tools uh, to um, do any annotations while the presentation is on so that's a pretty handy option so powerpoint excel and word are really uh, good and feature rich in the ipad version uh, much better than the iphone version so you can go ahead and download these three apps from the app store uh, they are free of cost and if you if you just want to read documents or presentations and excel uh, so you can uh, just download it and if you want to make uh, or edit uh, new documents you need to have the 365 subscription and the uh, basic subscription the home user subscription comes for around uh, 99 dollars uh, for a year so if you get that subscription you can start editing uh, documents so overall we feel uh, ipad uh, the office of ipad is really good product it's really useful for business users and if you want to create documents on while on move uh, it's really handy because ipad is one of the most uh, powerful and uh, most uh, uh, popular tablets around so with uh, office for ipad you uh, you can um, create documents um, and uh, presentations on the move so that's a quick review of uh, how the office for ipad works and uh, the features also in the uh, office for ipad so if you have any specific queries regarding uh, office for ipad just drop a comment uh, we'll be glad to help you out with the queries if you like this video hit the like button subscribe for more videos like this and finally thanks for watching this video